We have successfully packed our bags. Looks okay considering how bad the room looked last night. Good morning everyone and happy new year. It's a new year which means it's a new part of our adventure. We are going to be spending the next six weeks of our lives on the road around the UK. You have something in your eyebrow. Yeah, we've just packed up and we're about to head out to go pick up our car. The first leg of our adventure, we're going to Brighton. We're going to be making a stop at the Battle of Hastings site before we get there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> there was a battle there, that's all I know. In 1066, William the Conqueror came across from Normandy and he took over England and that's where the final battle happened, where I believe it was King Harold met mm. William the Conqueror at the Battle of Hastings and the English lost and thus begun the Norman conquest, mm -hmm. the Norman occupation of England. Okay. Big part of history. Yeah. That's why we're going there. I've got my... <laughs> got my road trip hat that I'll be wearing. we wearing this for the next six weeks. I'm gonna fit right in. Just a 17 minute walk like this. <laughs> adventurers. We're adventurers. So this is our little car for the next week. A Vauxhall Corsa. I don't really know what that is. It's kind of lame looking. This is the inside of the car. Kate's trying to figure it out. It's my little seat. They didn't even clean it in here. I'm driving in London. Ah! Look, all the speed signs are in miles. Going in miles per hour. It's like half metric, half imperial. I'm doing 200 furlongs per hectare. I'm really glad it's New Year's Day because there's actually no one on the road. Yeah, look how empty it is. Yeah, it's very empty. So, sort of about to learn. And they're diverting us as well because of the parade. Oh, yeah, there's a New Year's Day parade on today. Uh, it's not the next ride, it's the one after that you're turning. Okay. It's not here. Warwick Lane, who should be watching this vlog. <laughs> Seeing as we're stuck behind this bus, let me tell you something about it. It's designed by Heatherwick Studios in 2012 for the London Olympics. Well, no, not really, but they were like rushed <coughs> to get them out for the Olympics because they wanted to promote these new buses, which are they're curved to be more eco, like to look to look small and the whole thing behind them was to make them more eco-friendly and so the materials are all supposed to be like better and things and I think they're lighter as well and, and they let more light in because the windows are bigger and yeah I just think they're cool and Heatherwick Studios are the guys who did the weird Olympic torch thing for the London Olympics as well so that's what they're most most known for I'd say now we're driving by the Tower of London and behind that is, yeah, Tower Bridge. Now you can see. Following the bus. Yeah, we're still stuck behind the bus. Not stuck, we're following. Oh, okay, yeah, we're following the bus, sorry. Where do I go now? Um, in 0 0.1 miles, go straight. Straight or right? It looks like right, but turn, it says straight, but it's right. <laughs> it says 50 feet. 50 subways. Yeah, 50 subways. So I don't know how long a foot is. Good job. Mm. I wanted to point out how strange these light, this light system is. Yeah, do you see that? It goes red, then red and orange, and then green. Car update. So we've been driving for like an hour and a half now. It's just past 1 p.m. And we're almost here at the Battle of Hastings site. We're driving through the town of Battle, I think. And we should be there in like five months or so. Battlefield. Battlefield, yeah. So left. Yeah. Ooh, look at that roundabout thing. Yeah, cool. What a cute little town. We're gonna learn about the Normans. Sally's excited. Five, four, three, two, one. 
was you good. Did, you liked the video? Yeah, it was good. You explained it easily. Yeah, so at least you know what's happening now. Yeah, now I understand. Okay, okay. she now understands what's happening in this spot. <laughs> Let's go explore it. So we're standing in the middle of the battlefield, or the Battle of Hastings. This cool guy is a good representation of what it would have been like, actually. Down here is probably where the Normans would have stood. Um, estimated between 7,000 and 12,000 of them. There's no actual uh, record of it. Looking up to the hill, this um, abbey wasn't here before. Um, this is built after the, the battle. But on top of this hill is where the English were standing, probably between five and 10,000 as well. Similar sort of numbers. And the Normans would have had to push up this hill straight into the English shield wall. Yeah, somehow they did it. There's lots of um, facts around here that says how they did it. Um, they used tactics of like retreating and pulling back and drawing the English out. But it's sort of hard to believe that the English would have lost having such a high ground up here. But where we stand, probably about 7,000 people died in this battle on the 14th of October, 1066. Yeah, it's sort of a major point in English history. It's when Obviously the Anglo-Saxon rule ended and the Norman rule started and it's pretty impressive being out here. Just about to see like what it would have been like. The battle started, well, the Normans invaded England um, after Edward I or Edward the Confessor died. Duke William II or William the Conqueror believed that he was promised the crown but... Um, Where was he from? He was from Normandy. So he was the Norman Duke, but King Harold ended up taking the throne and he believed that also Harold promised him the throne so he sort of believed that he was wrongly done by and he got blessings from the Pope and everything to come and invade England to get the throne that he thought was rightfully his. It's a big arrow. <laughs> it is a big arrow. In the middle of the battlefield, down there was the Normans. In the middle of it all was Sally. <laughs> and up there is where the English were. We're standing like pretty much in the middle. Pretty surreal. This is a view from the top of the hill. So this is where the altar was that William put in to commemorate the spot uh, or to mark the spot where King Harold died. The altar's obviously not here anymore but this plaque's meant to represent it. So this is where they believe that he died on the battlefield and all this was once an abbey. Um, it's obviously been destroyed, that's the remains of it over there. But we'd actually be standing inside like this is like the high altar of the church right here. You can sort of see rather how the paths laid out how it would have been but obviously it's not here anymore it's been destroyed you can see like the actual remains of it down there that would have been the crypt they said down there okay so we're in like the dormitory of the abbey sort of the only building that sort of actually stands still mm -hmm. it's where the monks would have slept yeah it's where the monks would have slept it's kind of cool being in here it's a lot bigger than you think Creepy, is it? Yeah. The common room. It's very inviting. Oh, it keeps going. There are some steep steps. Don't fall on camera, don't fall on camera. Found the toilet. You said you need to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really fit my head. Hang on. <laughs> I've come to conquer England. From down there. Now we're going up. Gotta go up. Welcome to my rooftop balcony. How's the view?
This is worth the like 300 steps we had to climb. <laughs> It's really early here because it's winter. <laughs> but yeah, we'll probably update you when we're in Brighton. Good morning, guys. So last night we didn't actually end the vlog accidentally because we kind of forgot. But we made it to Brighton. We're at our Airbnb right now. We're packing up and getting ready to head out. Hopefully, you can hear me. The garbage guys are outside. I'll just give a quick like overview of our little room though. That's the door there, you come in, uh, there's Keith in the mirror, there's Keith in real life, there's a little desk, that's the bed, it's nice and comfy in comparison to the crappy one at the hostel. This is our current situation, we're just packing up. Today we're going out to Brighton to just check out the pier and stuff and then we're driving to Exeter and seeing what's along the way. Uh, currently in the car, we're driving through Hove right now, and Brighton is just up ahead, and that in the distance is the pier. It's a big pole. It says tickets at the bottom though. Can you go up the big pole? Don't know. British Airways I360. Oh, I remember seeing this thing. Yeah, I think you can go up there. Yeah, I'm not going up the big pole. Why does every public place have to have music? It makes it impossible to record. Here's the pier anyway. Right on your day. I've got a brief reprieve from the music. Damn it. We'll get a vlog in, don't you worry. Okay, so we're standing on the pier now. It's really, really, really cold. <laughs> yeah, we're at the end of the pier. Um, nothing really opens until 11. It's 10.45. Which is okay, because we've got to walk around without anything. Yeah, there's no crowds and stuff. Yeah, there's good. no crowds. Um, but we're not going to be here for any of these things. No, because parking was really expensive. The first hour was two pounds, and after that, six. Yeah, so and we have like we have a good like four hour drive yeah, for our next yeah. destination. We just want to check out the pier. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we're going to go now and maybe walk around the lanes a little bit, because that's where we parked, and then we'll head off. Yeah. Goodbye, Brighton. That was the big um, pole thing that pole we saw. Thing that I don't want to go up. It's Jeremy Vine. It's, it's on the radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the host of Eggheads, which is a really, really good quiz show, and you should watch yeah. it. Just driving along on the A27. There's a castle in the distance. Just randomly, I think we're in Arundel. Arundel. That's what the sign says. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we discovered these. They're called squashies. We only have two left because they're really, really good. I'm going to film the talking bit in, in the car because we've stopped on the side of the highway and you won't be able to hear me because of all the, all the cars going by. But we've just stopped at this little parking area thing because look at our view. There's little sheepies and, and that, yeah. It looks so nice. We're currently in a town called Bridport and we're parking and we're gonna go to the Costa Coffee here. Parking's really cheap. Did you say it's 40 pence for an hour? Yes. Yes, 40 pence for an hour. So cheap. Seriously, look at how cheap that is. We're currently driving through the East Devon area of Outstanding Natural Beauty, which I think is a very fitting name. It's a little bit dark though. Yeah, hopefully that you can see that. 
It's currently 4.43 p.m. and the car says it's one degree outside. Okay, so we've made it to our hotel. We are staying at the Holiday Inn Express Exeter. So it's nothing special or anything, but here's a little room tour. Starting with the front door, you come in. Do -do -do. Uh, there's a little hang thing. Here's the bathroom. Do -do -do. And back <coughs> there's the toilet. And then you come out. There's a bed and tables and keys. And a little couch type thing. TV and desk. And, and I forgot that breakfast was included, so I was very surprised when we got here. Yeah, I told him breakfast was included this morning, but he forgot. No, it wasn't said. It was said.